between my 20s and 30s, you know, active, active alcoholic, active drug user, um, suffered from homelessness, you know, going to jail, all the things that come with active using. I came into abstinence-based recovery six and a half years ago, but which was always my ultimate goal, but harm reduction kept me alive long enough so that I could achieve that goal. Uh, had it not been for harm reduction, harm reduction practices, I would have been dead probably by 15. I never thought I'd live to see 18. And when I did, that's when I knew I had to make a change. You know, I, I saw all the kids that I grew up with going to prom and getting accepted to college or university and doing all these things. And I realized that the world was turning without me. I only wanted death by that age. Yeah. I, uh, I saw the harm that I was doing to my parents, my brother, my extended family, cousins and uncles and aunts, and uh, I was a burden and I wasn't worth anyone's time or, or effort or compassion. Uh, it was a terrible way of thinking that only brought me deeper into my addiction and you know multiple suicide attempts and uh, ultimately I felt that if I were dead no one would have to deal with me anymore. I wouldn't be anyone's burden anymore. I got sober eight years ago in February and I started working in the field of abstinence series, so treatment centers, stuff like that. I went to school about three years ago. I became a social service worker. There I got turned on to harm reduction. Abstinence is a, is a great theory and it works for people that are at that point. Where harm reduction comes in, it instills little bits of success. So that old school thinking of the only success is abstinence, for me now, is false, right? If I can have somebody come in, grab clean gear, needles, whatever it is, that's success. If I have somebody coming in to you safely, that's success. If I have somebody still using, getting their ID, getting into programs, that's success. I used to be that person where there was no other way except abstinence. And it was only because I was afraid of knowing there is a different way and that I was wrong. That kind of old thinking actually keeps people away from trying to succeed. Active using is still looked at as, you know, more like dirty. It's, it's looked at as a, a dirty uh, self-choice. Drug users aren't bad people. And they don't have to be. Um, you know, I, I think with the proper structure in place, uh, a lot of the people that we see accessing the services could be set up for success.